So a lot of us get a three-day weekend celebrating Easter, a time to celebrate your faith, enjoy the spring weather, and visit with family members and friends. And then come Monday morning, it'll be back to the old routines, but that's not the way the holiday worked during times gone by in Lewis. In fact, the town was once considered the Easter party capital of Delmarva. Well, here to tell us about those old time festivities is author of Secrets of the Eastern Shore, Jim Duffy. Welcome for another Good throwback afternoon. Thursday. Good afternoon. Thank you for having me. So there's a present day angle here. Folks in Lewis gearing up for the 51st annual Great Delaware Kite Festival on Good Friday, but you say it goes back further. Yeah, so I'm reading newspapers from like 100 years ago, all right? Easter Monday, Lewis, ghost town. It was like Christmas. Everything closed, government offices, shops, because at sunrise, the whole town got up and they all trooped two miles to Cape Henlopen, where the lighthouse was, okay. and the great dune that fell down 60 feet at that point in time was. And they, the, the, the cars couldn't get over the sand, there was no road out there, so they got in these carts and these carriages and they had like Christmas sleigh bells on them. So, so the first thing that happens is the kids don't have an Easter egg hunt, they have an Easter egg roll. They drop their eggs down the dune and the winner is the one who goes the farthest. And how big is this dune? 60 six, six zero, like mm. six stories. Wow. All right. Then the kids start throwing themselves down the dune. <laughs> <laughs> then some adults start throwing themselves <laughs> down the dune. And then if there's any reluctant adults left, the teenagers pick them up <laughs> and throw. throw them down the dune. <laughs> and these newspaper articles say, if you're like too old to do this, you can't go to the event because you are going to be thrown down the dune. Now, now we know that Ms. Triathlete here would be thrown yeah, down no the dune. But, but how do you feel about it? You and me? Yeah, probably wouldn't go. You don't think so? <laughs> no, probably no. not. At the end of the day, they'd all tromp back with their sleigh bells going and everything like that. And then there'd be big parties at night, like jazz concerts and all, and all this stuff. And this went all the way up until the 1960s when some hijinks got out of hand and there was kind of a near tragedy involving someone being buried in the scene. Ooh. And anyway, they canceled the event. And so Lewis had no giant Easter celebration. And this went back a hundred years before oh my 1925, mm -hmm. went back to the early 1800s. So now there's a few years here between the 60s and 1970 where there's no big Easter celebration. But in ah. 1970, the Lieutenant Governor of Delaware, who was a big prime Lewis citizen, uh, Eugene Bookhammer, starts this crazy little kite thing. Now, if you look up this event, I'm working on a book that's a guide to the annual events on Delmarva. And if you try to find the history of this event, you're gonna see this Thing about how uh, this guy from India who was the world kite flying champion, he, he challenged the governor of Delaware to a duel, but the governor couldn't go, so the lieutenant governor came and they had a duel and this is the birth. I went back to the old newspaper. And, mm, no. That, that's not really Boy, what no. happened. But what happened is just as good, is uh, Buckheimer did, he liked kite flying, and he met this guy who proclaimed himself the world champion of kite flying. He lived in the suburbs of Baltimore. And they had a little duel out there, and they had all kinds of fun with all these ridiculous quotes. They're threatening each other, you know, like boxers before a match. They're like threatening each other about things that they're gonna do. And they had like public address announcers and, and everything like that, and you know, a hundred people showed up. So, but yeah. they get to book hammer, got it started. And they're partying in Lewis on Easter How weekend again and tomorrow. And it's actually tomorrow, the 51st yep. uh, annual. How yeah. about that? Thank you so much, Jim. Yeah. A as wonderful always. story, as always. Goodness gracious. <laughs>